I want to share with you one tip for making your videos better. You may be wondering, who the hell is this guy? What does he know about making videos? Well, you're right, nothing. I don't know sh I'm sorry, Casey, the arrow thing's a great idea. So Ricky's recording his video this week. And I think he's shooting it right now. So let's just pop in, see what he's up to. What are you doing? Setting up. Oh, I thought you were shooting it already. Well, you have to set. Well, good luck. That was boring, his video sucks. I'm a self-taught videographer. I got no experience. I just learned on the streets, picked up a camera, and started shooting. But I read this book. So it's a big ass book. There's a ton of great stuff. But the one nugget that's changed the way I look at storytelling is this. All good stories are built on beats and gaps. Beat, beat, gap! This idea of beats and gaps made me realize why my videos were so Beats give context, they create suspense, they set up the gap. So the beats give context to the gap. The gap is the really important part. This is what the book has to say about the gap where subjective and objective realms touch. So what that means is that the gap is the space between what I expect the world to be like and what the world is really like. Take Casey Neistat's latest video, making fun of people. It was pretty good. More views than I've ever gotten. Not true, I got a million views, check me out. Anyways, Casey opens the video the way he usually does, cold open, whatever, super cool intro, and then- Great morning, but uh... You see it looks beautiful over there, but then stormy, uh, hope it doesn't rain. I hate running in the rain. That's a gap. It looks stormy, I hope it doesn't rain, that'll ruin my run. That was key, because now he set up an expectation. Is his run gonna get ruined? Is it gonna rain? I don't know! In the next shot. It does look like the storm's getting closer. Beep. See his gray band here? Beep. Our suspense is building. Beat. All these shots of rain are just giving context to how shitty the rain is. So they're beat, beat, beats. Casey could have been like, it's raining. You gotta create that space that I don't know what's gonna happen and then okay, something happens. And then again, what's gonna happen? I don't know, then something happens. So you're always playing this game. I think it's about time I wrap it up, but this is my first video I've ever made for myself on a topic that I really care about a lot. Being filmmaking. Every little moment should be either a beat or a gap. A gap meaning you as an audience should be wondering something like, where's he going? What's he doing? Why is he turning off the lights? Well, I'm turning off the lights because I'm about to go. I'm the last one here. So in conclusion, if I can leave you with one thought that I got from this book, is that life is a story and the story happens in the gap.